Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome back to another apartment building video. Today's video was actually going to be a penthouse building video, but I started building a penthouse and it's really complicated. I couldn't figure it out for the life of me. So I actually started building this really fun apartment and my inspiration sort of came from one of the really expensive apartments where they have a swimming pool. So I wanted to make a bit of a cheaper apartment, smaller apartment that also has a swimming pool. That just seemed like a lot of fun. So this is the apartment where the karaoke legends actually live. So I gave them a new apartment, a new makeover. One of them will have to move out because it only has two bedrooms, but... <laughs> I mean, who cares, right? They probably wouldn't mind. <laughs> or um, maybe some one of them can, I don't know, sleep in the chair on the balcony or something. I don't know. <laughs> They'll just have to take turns. One of them should be out winning karaoke. What's it called? Competitions. Anyway, so what are they doing <laughs> in bed? <laughs> But as you can see, I'm actually building the swimming pool area downstairs. And then when you go up the stairs, there's the whole living area. So the whole living area is pretty small. I kind of made it, I guess, sort of New York style where you, when you want to live in the like Manhattan part of the city, uh, you have very small apartments. I did some research on that for the book I'm writing for NaNoWriMo. Um, if you don't know what that is, go look it up, especially when you like writing, because it's amazing. But <laughs> I'm writing a book about someone who lives in um, New York. So I did some research on that whole thing. And it turns out some of these New York apartments are really small. So it's sort of inspired by that, even though this is way bigger than a New York apartment would be. Uh, <laughs> but I sort of wanted to... You, you will see, but I sort of like stuffed the kitchen in one corner and it was fun to build. It was just a fun build. I wanted to go... I mean, lately I have really just wanted to have fun with The Sims. Just build whatever I wanted. So this is really random. Why would you build a swimming pool in an apartment? But it's fun and not a lot of people would have done it. So at least it's <laughs> original, right? Okay, so today I actually want to go see a school that I might want to go to next year. I'm taking a gap year, but I am supposed to be studying again next year. Uh, and I want to do something artsy, something with music or acting or all of the things, which is something I went to go see today. I actually went to a musical thing and I had hoped that this was only an acting and singing sort of thing but it actually also has dancing involved and I can't dance <laughs> I used to dance but not like at a high level uh, luckily you don't have to be the best dancer ever to go to this school which is good but I am going to start taking dancing lessons maybe I literally just signed up for an, a lesson somewhere in the, my area where I live but basically I have no chance of getting in but I'm going to try anyway <laughs> I'm actually I will be auditioning for more than one school so maybe one of them will take me we don't know <laughs> but uh, my chances are very slim because 300 people try to get into the school and they only take 10 so 290 people will go home disappointed. There's three rounds of auditioning. Uh, the first one is singing and dancing. The second one is singing and acting. And the third one is like in a group and they might have you sing or dance again. And then you actually need to go see a doctor and be, he's going to test if your body works correctly. If your singing vocal things are all okay. And if your body can take all the dancing classes that you will take. So it's a stressful process. And it... I mean... You know what I think? 
if I don't get in this year, the dancing won't be for nothing. First of all, I enjoy dancing, so that's good. Um, it's good for my health. I'm not very sporty. I'm actually pretty overweight. So it's good for my health. It's like a sports thing. Um, I enjoy it. I like dancing. And I can always try again next year. Train for a little bit longer. And see if I can get in the next year. I will start to study on something else or another school or whatever. But I can always transfer and try again. So it's never a lost cause. And that was it for the swimming pool area. As you can see we had a little bar area. Some towers, towels on the wall. Obviously a swimming pool. And some seats where you can lie down in. Which is always a good thing. Lying down next to a pool. I mean, you will sort of miss the sun, but it's probably still relaxing. <laughs> I feel like there's a group of people living here, two people actually, who really don't care about anything. They're like, we're just going to do it. We're just going to jump in, jump into the pool, <laughs> jump into life <laughs> and just see what happens. Because who would buy an apartment? They probably wouldn't think about any practical things. They would just like... Yeah, let's buy an apartment with a pool, even though we probably can't afford it. And the upstairs area is really small, but it's really cool. Also, it's so annoying that this, the game moves on its own. And when that happens in build mode, you can't do anything about it. And in city living, it's been really bad. It happens so often. It's just annoying. I don't know if I'm the only one. I'm not the, not the only one. I know other people have this problem too. But I'm wondering if I have this more often than other people. Because I don't really hear people talk about it that much. And it's so annoying. And it's been really bad lately. At least for me. So as you can see, I'm working on the kitchen. Yes, it's really small. But I thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> and honestly, I just wanted to build this house for fun. This apartment, actually. Um... It might not be as pretty as all of the other apartments are, but it is really fun. So this video's question is, if you don't know, I'm trying to add a question into every single build video or creative video that I do. Maybe even in a let's play, but I'm not sure yet. <laughs> but in this build, my question is, do you prefer building fun houses or pretty houses? So do you prefer building just random things uh, because you want to? Or do you like the end result of the pretty houses and the process of the pretty houses even more than just building some fun stuff like an like a pool in an apartment. <laughs> I wanted to say an apartment in a pool, which is also really fun, but not possible. <laughs> I did build a mermaid house once and that was a little house with a pool around it. So sort of an apartment in a pool, maybe? <laughs> oh, that would be funny. <laughs> you have to put on your diving helmet and swim through your house and be like, okay, I'm just going to sleep here. <laughs> but anyway, the question will be in the eye in the corner. So if you do want to answer that, you can answer it there or you can answer in more detail in the comment section if you would like to. Also, if you've never built a house before, or you don't really like building, or maybe you don't even own The Sims. Um, I didn't for a really long time and I still watch videos, so hi to those people. <laughs> but anyway, if you don't build, you can also just answer the question like... Um, do you prefer to watch videos of pretty, pretty houses or fun houses? There's also a way you can answer that question. <laughs> I, don't, I want to include everyone. <laughs> So back to the build, as you can see, I finished the kitchen and the bathroom in the two empty spaces, well, three, sort of. Um, there's going to be two bedrooms and one living room. I'm working on the living room right now. Also, you might have noticed that there is no oven in the kitchen. And I thought that was pretty fitting because it's such a small kitchen and I feel like some people might skip the oven and only buy a fridge and a microwave. Um, you also have microwaves that function as an oven too, so you can just pretend that that's the case in this one. Or maybe they just eat salads. <laughs> Who knows? 
Um, you don't really need an oven to survive, not in The Sims, not in real life. Um, and I thought it would be pretty funny to keep the kitchen really small. So that's an effort of keeping the kitchen small. <laughs> and now I'm building a living room. Not a lot of furniture in this one, not a lot of detail. But that's also because I feel like when you bought a swimming pool in your basement, um, well, not really basement, sort of ground floor, but not really a ground floor because it's in an apartment really high up in the sky. So I don't know if ground floor is the right way to say that in this case. But anyway, I don't really think you have much money left to buy lots and lots of furniture. So I kept it pretty simple. Um, I really like the colors in this one. I love the floor. I never used that floor in that color, but the gray is really nice. I've never thought about that. Maybe I will, <laughs> if I ever move into my own house, maybe I will use the gray flooring. Who knows? So now I'm sort of making sort of identical bedrooms. Um, they both have a bed, a closet, and a desk. So, probably everything you need. <laughs> right? <laughs> you have clothes, you have places to put things, you have your computer, and you have a bed. What more do you need in your bedroom? Um, I would be happy if I had... No, that's a lie. I don't like being in my room, so <laughs> I wanted to say that I would be happy if I had a desk in my room, but I will never use it. Because I hate being in my room. I think it's too small. Not enough windows. I like being downstairs more. <laughs> so I'm always in the kitchen in front of a really big door with glass windows. I mean, what sort of windows would there be? I don't know. Are there like plastic windows? I mean, sort of, maybe. If you have like really cheap crappy windows they might be plastic <laughs> also you just saw me putting in that umbrella thing and yes that's the most stupid thing i've ever done because it actually goes through the roof but that's it for this video so thank you so much for watching and i will see you very soon goodbye